Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're going to talk about how to launch a boat all by yourself as fast as possible and as, as efficiently as possible. So, I'll go through a couple steps that I do. I, I personally love traveling new areas, which makes me uh, go to a lot of different ramps. And this is what I found to be um, you know, the, the easiest way to do it quickly. So that way I can you know, get, get in and out of the water as fast as possible. So number one is always like to, to have a rope. I have it tied off to the boat. And I have a pretty long, you know, it's a fairly long rope. I actually double, you know, I just tied two ropes together, two dock lines, and it's tied to my truck. So that way when I do back up, I can, uh, I can unhitch the, the trailer when I get it to the water, and then just get in my truck, back it up, the boat slides all the way off, I quickly grab the rope, tie it to the dock, and then I'm, then I'm off and running. It's just so much more efficient than, than, uh, than, than having to get off on the boat, and, and it's basically a replacement of having a friend in the boat that can just be in the boat when you, when you drop it off. So that's the fastest way to do it uh, by yourself. Uh, secondly is before you even get the ramp, just make sure that you have everything ready to go. Number one, make sure the plug's in um, and just have everything ready to go. You know, we're now off to the side. And so as soon as we do get in the, in the actual main lane, we're ready to go and we're, again, we're not gonna hold anybody up. So now the prep time is done, we're gonna go ahead and launch it and I'll just show you the quick tying technique as well. All right, so one tip I wanted to share is the knot that I tie. You can do this to anything. So I, I, it's just really nice. I have this, this cleat in the truck that I, that I tie the, the rope off to. But if I didn't have that, I could just tie off to the trailer itself. But whether, whatever I tie it to, I really like um, this knot. I don't even know the name of it, but it's basically, you basically form a loop. And then just in that loop, you put the tag end through that loop again. And that way I can pull as hard as I possibly can on this thing and it's not gonna budge. If I pull on the, you know, on the rope that goes to the trailer, but if I pull on the part that the tag end, it's going to completely unwind, and now, now, the, now, now it's totally free to go off. All right, so I get the wheels in the water, and uh, at this point, I'll go ahead and, and uh, unhitch it. I don't like doing this beforehand. I have seen a boat slide off the trailer. They didn't have it hitched down on the, on the decline, and I just want to make sure that's never, never me. Um, a lot of people do do it. They trust that the boat won't slip, but just to be safe, you know, it's now unhitched, so now as soon as I do back up and it floats, it's just gonna shoot right off. So I'm just keeping an eye, eye out for it in the, in the back and then I'll just do a hard, hard stop. Boat shoots off. Now I can go grab the rope. So as far as a quick tie down method, I just use this one rope and uh, just you know, have an idea of what the, what the wind's doing. So right now the wind's coming from the, the back. And so all I really need to do is just secure this back corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loop the rope over, hop in, and then just do a quick quick knot there. Now the boat's tied, I don't need to worry about the front. The wind's gonna be pushing up against the dock. No need to do uh, unnecessary, unnecessary tie downs and now we're ready, boat secure. Now I'm gonna go park, set up my spot, and then I'm ready to go. All right, so now uh, just some tips on how to load the boat by yourself. Uh, again, it's uh, kind of the same process. It's all about preparation. So I've, I've backed the truck up. I've had the boat here uh, ready to go. So now it's as far as just getting, I just have to get the, you know, the boat on the trailer and a boat this light is actually pretty easy. And so what I do is I just make sure that I shove off and I get it to a point where by the time I'm, I'm actually ready to drive, I'm, I'm lined up with the trailer. Um, so right now, boat's totally lined up just from that basic little, little bump. And then I just, you know, just take it straight up. And uh, since it's just me, I just have to nose it up as close as I can to the top, turn it off. Oh, I'm sliding down, that wasn't planned. Sometimes that happens, but uh, that's just part of, part of being by yourself. So I can't just keep it in gear, it's not safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim the motor up and then just hop off on the trailer. Winch it up by myself. And when it's this deep, just so that I stay dry, I just have to keep myself on the actual trailer tongue, but it's really not that bad.
There we go. Always, always make sure to get that chain because the boat's, you know, biggest, the biggest at risk time for the boat to slide off the trailer is as soon as you're pulling off the water the first time. The, the, uh, the trailer's wet. There's the least amount of friction. So extremely important to make sure you have that chain just in case the, uh, something happens with the, with the winch. So one, one extra launch tip, this is for saltwater anglers, is that when you are launching in saltwater, very, very smart to take, you wanna take care of your lug nuts. It is, uh, if you do get a flat and there's a lot of rust on these nuts or, or anywhere down here, changing the tire can be a, a real pain. Uh, but if there's no rust, if this is clean, you know, change the, the tire is actually easy. You know, these bolts will come off nice and easy. But the trick is, as soon as you do launch, as soon as you pull the trailer out of salt water, have some fresh water and just rinse it off. Some people get little uh, little uh, spray bottles, you know, little spray things and spray them down. I usually just get an old, you know, an old water, water jug. I have multiple of these ready to go. Just splash it down and done. And, and that way, because if you, if you spray it down to the house, you know, that's great. But a, a lot of rust will already have started uh, in between the ramp and your house. So very, very important is just have some water handy. Just wash it off real quick. It doesn't have to be long or crazy. Splash it, splash it down. I'll do this one, I'll do that one next. And then we're off and going. And I don't have to worry about, uh, about rust occurring down here. So those are the tactics and strategies on how to launch and load your boat all by yourself without help the most efficient way possible, at least the most efficient way that I've been able to find. If you have found some tactics and strategies that, that you think work that I, that I did not talk about, please do let us know. Use the comment section down below. If you have any questions, you know, leave, it, leave a question down below. I check the, that comment feed as often as possible and would love to hear your feedback. So thank you so much for your time in watching this video. I hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones. Live salt strong in where the lines are dead.